Okay, so we're going to talk about one of my favorite screencasting tools that I think will be really helpful while we're doing our NTI days. Um, and screencasting sounds really complicated. I think at first it is not. All that means is I am getting a video of my screen and my clicks on my screen and all my different windows and my voice on top of it. This could be useful for you to go ahead and make lectures or in direct instruction for the kids um, that you could then post into Google Classroom. So the way we're going to get started with Screencastify is to go to the Chrome Web Store. It is an extension, so you're going to go to the Chrome Web Store. And here in the top left-hand corner, I'm going to talk, type in Screencastify. Mine says rate it because I already have it. So right there, you are going to click add to Chrome and then give it permissions to be on your Chrome. Then it is on your computer and you're good to go. If I now wanted to start a screencast, this right here, this kind of pinkish arrow. Uh, here we go. This pinkish arrow is my actual um, screencasting extension. When I am ready, um, let's say I had some slides up here. Oops. And I wanted to use those slides to teach from for class, okay? So everything that is on my screen you are seeing because I'm going to hit the Screencastify tab. I can get it to get my browser tab, which would be just this one tab that I'm clicked on, my desktop, or I can have it do just my webcam that would be looking at me. I think for this purpose, we're gonna say desktop. You can actually click this button here and we'll embed the webcam so that you would be seeing, the kiddos would be seeing you in this little window in the bottom right hand corner at the same time that you're talking and lecturing. Might be a nice way to add some face to face to it, but you do not have to. So I would just leave it like it pops up, desktop, microphone on, webcam off. I'm going to hit record. I select my screen and I hit share. See, it gives me that nice countdown. Three, two, one. When I'm done, I can just hit stop sharing or you can hide this. These are some basic tools. Don't need to know about those yet unless you're an advanced user. Those are ones that are going to let you like annotate on the screen and also erase okay as I'm screencasting so I can just be talking the kids do not have to see me maybe we're working from home and you haven't even taken your shower yet and you haven't done your hair fine use Screencastify record your lesson for the day pull up your slides or your PowerPoint or your whatever on your computer you can even like said use that annotate over top of it however it is you want to do it you can also hide the tools um, talk to the kiddos and then when you're done since I got rid of that window that said stop I just go back up and hit the screencastify button again I'm gonna say stop recording or I can trash it in case you want a second third fourth fifth try however you want to do that I could pause it and then pick it back up um, so I'm gonna hit pause let's say the dog was going crazy in the background or I needed to take a break or whatever it's not recording me right now Okay, dog stopped or whatever. I'm ready to record again. I'm going to hit play. So it's now back to recording me. I see the timer running at the top. Let's say I'm done with my lesson for the day. I'm going to hit stop. You will see this window pop open. And what happens is it automatically takes this and saves it to your Google Drive. It creates a folder in your drive called Screencastify. Mine is pink because I made it pink, okay? But you're going to have a Screencastify folder, and it's going to be all of your screencasts that you have done at this point. This is literally the one right here that we just... Sorry, kids aren't going to have to do this. They'll get to play it live. This is the one that we just shot, okay? The other cool thing from here is if you want, you could actually publish it to YouTube. And then even set the settings to where um, only the people that you give the link to can see it. 
So Screencastify might be an option for you to get your material across to the kids. I would give you a tip here. I almost always change the title to be very specific. or math or whatever it is um, um if i was doing it for class i might even put my objective there like you know if this was decomposing fractions something like that that way i can use this later if i needed to you can do some trimming and editing in screencastify too real easy so that's pretty cool so just so you get the sense of it that is how you could use screencastify to film your lessons and then you could put those into Google Classroom or Remind or however it is that you're communicating with your students. I would just grab that copy of that shareable link. I would go over to Classroom and I'm just going to post that to the class, okay? Um, this was the notes to do the math problem that we're doing today or whatever it is.